So continuing our series, how to make everything. Today we're gonna try Dr. Pepper. Before we get into the recipe, let's give it a little taste test and see what we can decipher. So as we all know, there should be 23 flavors in this, which is obviously a massive amount. So let's give this a try. Okay, smells good. Hmm, It's got such a distinct flavor. And if I remember reading correctly, the original creator of Dr. Pepper was trying to recreate the smell of his pharmacy. That being said, we obviously have tried this before, but apparently there's a new updated list of what those flavors are. So let's give it a go. So of course, we're gonna start with some orange and lemon peel. So let's get that into there. Again, try and avoid getting the pith in. So for our first unexpected ingredient, we're gonna get in some carrots. So let's cut a few pieces off into that. Now we're gonna add some ginger, so we'll cut a few pieces off. Again, somewhat surprisingly, we want to get a tomato in there. So let's get one in for good measure. <laughs> a few slices of plum, couple raspberries, followed by a couple blackberries. I promise we're not making a fruit salad. Let's add a couple prunes in next. Now for our spices, we're gonna start off with some licorice root. So we'll get a few twigs in there. Some whole cloves, one whole nutmeg, juniper berries, that should be good. And finally a cinnamon stick, we'll just break that up and place it in. Now it's time to crush this all together. Got a juniper berry up my sleeve, come on. We'll speed this bit up. You can also speed this up if you hold the right side of the screen and you press there, it will do it in two times. Let's give it a little smell test. We're definitely on the right direction. So we've transferred everything to our flask here. Let's finish covering it with some ethanol. This will help our extraction. So again, as I mentioned in my Coca-Cola video, the only reason we've used ethanol is because it's very good at extracting the flavor from the oils in our ingredients. It's essentially like making vanilla essence. When you bake with it or cook with it or whatever you're doing with it, you most of the time are gonna burn off the alcohol. But if you do have certain dietary restrictions, there are other things you can use, like a glycerin mix to make the same flavor profile, but it's a little bit more difficult. And just to be clear, real Dr. Pepper doesn't contain any ethanol. I'm just using that in this process to create our flavor profile. So theoretically at this point, we should wait 24 to 48 hours to let everything marinate, but I can't really be bothered. So we're gonna speed things up with a vacuum chamber. So we've got our Dr. Pepper flavor set up there. Let's place our vacuum chamber lid on top of that and pull our vacuum. So we're under a vacuum now and we can see it's bubbling vigorously, letting all the oils and flavor out of our ingredients in there. So this should work quite well. So now we're just gonna filter off all our solids to be left with our pure ethanol. So we can see our Dr. Pepper flavoring is dripping through. We're just gonna have to be quite patient here. So we separated a small amount of our flavoring off into here. It's crazy how much this already smells like Dr. Pepper. That being said, our next step is to add some vanilla essence. So we'll get one drop of that in there as well. And we'll also add one drop of almond extract. Not too much. That should be good. Whoa, that really just hit like Dr. Pepper now. Now just going by what's suggested, they mentioned rum, so we'll add a drop of that in there. Obviously I have no idea if this is actually in Dr. Pepper. And they also mentioned a drop of amaretto, so we'll follow in with that. Again, obviously I don't know what's exactly in Dr. Pepper, but following the recipe we've got, we're gonna add those two things. Now also remember, this will burn off in our next steps, so it's not gonna be an alcoholic drink at all. So our next job is to make a simple syrup. So we're gonna add some sugar into our pan and get that on. And we'll just cover the top of that with some water. And slightly strangely to this, we're gonna add a drop of root beer for the flavoring, followed in with a drop of cola as well. So now that our syrup is bubbling away, let's add our flavoring into that and hopefully it will burn off. We're gonna let this caramelize for a minute or two just to add a bit of color, then we'll cool it right off with some water. So now we've got a flavored syrup, let's pour it into a bottle and let it cool down. So while our syrup is cooling off, let's just make some sparkling water. So we'll get our sparkling water into our beaker and start building up our Dr. Pepper. We'll start by pouring in our Dr. Pepper flavor. Get that all in there. So we'll add in our citric acid instead of a phosphoric acid. Get a good amount in there. The recipe has some sweeteners in it, so we'll add a little bit of that. Get that mixed in there nicely. And funny, since our color is not quite right, we're just gonna add a little bit of food coloring to help match it. So we'll add a brown. And we'll just finish it off with one last drop of almond extract, just to add a little bit more of that flavor. So I think we're just about there. I've got to say, that looks quite good and smells very similar to Dr. Pepper. Let's just give it a try and see how we're getting on. Whoa, that is so similar. This is even more similar than the last time we made it, but we're not quite exactly there. I do think there might be one or two things missing and a few tweaks that need to be made. That being said, in terms of closeness, I've easily got to give this like a 7.8 out of 10. Yeah, comment what we should try next. Very cool. Yum, yum.